Virginians in his final State of the Commonwealth Address. Our Jake Burns joins us live tonight with Northam's final words and how Republicans are responding tonight. Jake. Well, Bill, the 73rd governor sought to highlight what he sees as historic accomplishments over the last four years. He asked lawmakers to not, quote, retreat from those accomplishments. This as Republicans are set to take control out of two or three levers of state government. For the final time, the pediatric neurologist from the Eastern Shore strolls into Virginia's capital to address Virginians. Everything we have built and accomplished over these four years has been about helping people. The Governor Ralph Northam highlighted the expansion of Medicaid early in his term, a bipartisan vote expanding health care coverage to many low-income Virginians. I know that we couldn't foresee the pandemic, but I am glad that when a global health crisis arrived, more than 600,000 Virginians had access to care that they did not have in 2018. His term defined in part by the pandemic, Northam's COVID-19 response got its share of criticism. During his address, the governor notes Virginia's vaccination numbers are higher and case numbers lower than most large states. As I leave office, I hope that our Commonwealth will continue doing what we know works. Follow the science, get vaccinated, wear masks, take care of other people, not just ourselves. That is who I know Virginians to be. Of course, around this time in 2019, Northam was almost forced out of office in scandal. Wednesday, Northam reflected on what he's learned and the work he says that tells a fuller picture of Virginia's past. I know that talking about history, our real, true history, can make some people uncomfortable, mostly those people who look like me. And I have not always understood the ways that the uglier parts of our past affect things and people today. But I kept my mind open. I listened and I learned. I used to tell students, the eyes can't see what the brain doesn't know. Republicans cheered some of Northam's remarks, but not many. New Speaker of the House Todd Gilbert tweeting, quote, Ralph Northam is leaving office as his own lost cause, condescendingly lecturing us from some assumed moral high ground because he read the book Roots and then went on a nonstop reconciliation tour. A Northam spokesperson called the comments sad. The decisive results of November's elections, with Glenn Youngkin, Winsome Sears, and Jason Mieres prevailing, signaled that Virginians wanted to move in a different direction. In the party's official response, the GOP agenda moving forward ties closely to Governor-elect Youngkin. Items like eliminating the grocery tax, bolstering public school standards, and public safety. We're introducing legislation that will keep dangerous, violent krillers behind bars and off the streets, and that will bring accountability and change to our badly broken parole board. Fights for another night, as Governor Northam leaves Virginia sharing his thanks and these thoughts. We are here for a short period of time, and every day is a God-given opportunity to help someone to make their life better. The inauguration of Glenn Youngkin, Winsome Sears, and Jason Miara is set for Saturday at noon.